Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the unboxing for the November regular Snacku box. Um, this is kind of fast. It came really quick. Uh, I actually believe that uh, I got the email just like yesterday or the day before that saying your Snacku has shipped, which usually it's taken like a week or two because it's legitimately coming straight from Japan. So this box coming from Japan, which is awesome. Um, all right, so this has an interesting theme, so we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll still be like good stuff, but this is what you see inside. Whoop! As I just pour everything out, I should have done it the other way. Get all this off the computer. Real life situation. Yeah, because it was all stacked like stuff sitting in this way, like the bottom's going this way. So when I did it this way and turned it up, it just all fell up. Anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. It's all sorts of stuff in there, looking good. So we'll go through all this. Uh, so the theme of this is actually yuzu and wasabi. Excuse me, I'm gonna readjust myself here because I'm gonna be sitting here for a little bit. These take a while. So yuzu and wasabi for November. Um, Japan is without a doubt a country of foodies. There are so many different types of food you can't find anywhere else. This, this month we feature two specific ingredients native to Japan, yuzu. It's a popular citrus fruit in Japan. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not going to read all that because it's a little bit boring when I'm just reading stuff. I'll read the descriptions of the individual things, though. But here you go. This is the picture that they have. That is an actual wasabi root, I guess. I guess it's a root. So um, there's a decent amount of wasabi stuff in here, too. So I was thinking when it's when it said for the teaser for last time it was like yuzu and wasabi, I was like, it'll probably be just like a little bit of wasabi stuff and mainly yuzu because... That seems like a more more harmonious thing, you know, it's citrus. A lot of people like that. So, but we'll see. All right, so the first thing, it's just going to be whatever I grab first. Sorry, dogs are going crazy outside for whatever reason. I don't know. So the first is a yuzu cake. Let's kick it off with some yuzu. In the packaging. A little silica packet there to keep it fresh. So a yuzu cake. This is a regional del delicacy from the Oita Prefecture in southern Japan. Two soft pillowy buns are filled with 100% natural yuzu jelly. They are each made by hand by a snack shop that won the 2008 National Confectionery Competition. Interesting. Dogs. Just going nuts. This is why I like cats. Cats don't yell, really. Dogs do. Oh, man. This is really... Oh, they do have a little tear area. I guess I should look a little bit closer. Ooh, man. This is super, like, freaking soft. See that? Push it a little bit. It's very, very, very soft. It smells like, it legit just smells like a potato roll, basically. Like that bready. Although I do get a little bit of a lemon note coming off it. I wish people make their animals shut up. Ooh. Ooh. Super light and fluffy and cakey. Oh, man. Okay. So my mother makes like a lemon poppy seed cake. And it kind of tastes like that, but the yuzu is a little closer to an orange than it is to a lemon. It has a little bit of a lemony note to it, but it's a lot of oranginess. And it is like a jelly in there. You can, you know, it's a little, there you go. You can see it's a jelly in there. Mm. It was like so soft. Just, that's awesome. I like that a lot. That's really good. Like that's an awesome dessert right there. Wow. Man, that citrus is so, so, so vibrant, and it's just the right amount of sweetness in the actual, like, bun portion of it. Because I don't like it crazy sugary with stuff. That is really nice. I realized something I didn't do on the other video is, like, take a drink of water between each one. Which I should do. Kind of cleanse my palate a bit. Okay, so there's an extra one of those. Um, I'm going to save that thing, because that'll be interesting. All right, so the next thing we have here is Nori Wasabi Akome. Uh, baked puff rice chips sprinkled with sea salt and wasabi and seaweed powder. So says the thing. They kind of look like bagel chips a little bit on the outside. Let's see what they look like on the inside. Oh, and I only have one of these. I'm assuming because it's kind of a large bag. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, you can smell that little bit of uh, fishiness from the seaweed. It smells of the sea. 
Yeah, it's kind of like a, you know, it's like a mix between like a, like a rice crisp and like a, um, what was I going to say? Oyster cracker is kind of what it looks like. Yeah. And you definitely smell seaweed on there. I don't smell wasabi though. Oh, oh. So initially I get like the crunchiness and I got a really nice saltiness. And then this, the um, wasabi kicks in right after that. Ooh, that's really good, though. I really like that quick wasabi kick. It just gets, like, a little bit of heat on your tongue, but not too much. That's cool. I like that a lot. Um, let me try another one. I'm trying to see if I can really get the seaweed. I can't really perceive the seaweed, and I think it's mainly because the wasabi kind of masks it for me between the salt the saltiness and the wasabi it really masks that seaweed but these are really good i like these quite a, a lot i know i've said it on other videos where i do snacku but i'm really big into savory snacks more so than sweet snacks although that yuzu cake thing was awesome um so this is kind of like in my wheelhouse really like that let me set that back there mm. Mm. okay <laughs> drink of water Sorry, I put it on the table so it might kind of like shake things a little bit. I apologize up front for that. Okay, um, let me leave that. What is this? What is this? This could be, okay, I think it might be a wasabi wafer. It has wasabi on it, so you can see. Oh, let's go this way. Sorry, my cat's coming down the stairs. I'm waiting for her to start getting all up in my business. Um, all right. I think this is a wasabi wafer. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I'll read what it is so I can verify. These airy wafer cookies filled with wasabi white chocolate come from a snowy mountainous region in Shinano, Japan. All the ingredients from the rice to the wasabi to the cocoa butter are from local farms in the area. Cool. I like it. So it literally looks like, you know, what people in the United States just know is kind of like wafer cookies. You see, although you can see it's green filling in there, wasabi. I don't really smell the wasabi. It just smells like sugary and vanilla. Yeah, it smells like a wafer cookie. Okay, so, hmm. So the wasabi is in there, but it's super, super, super light. It mainly does just taste like a nice wafer cookie. It's sugary. It's vanilla-y, a lot of vanilla, actually. And then you just get, like, the slightest little tinge of, like, wasabi flavor and heat on the end. So, mm, interesting. It's good. Um, although, there's not a ton of wasabi to it. So, it's kind of more of, like, a novelty thing, I think. It's not something I would seek out because I'd probably just be like, oh, I'll just get, like, a regular vanilla wafer cookie. It's kind of more of my... But it's interesting to have that little bit of lingering wasabi heat that goes on. Mmm. That's interesting. I like that. I don't love it. Like it. Okay, next. Jagaby? Uh, There's another wasabi thing, I guess. I'll have to see. Okay. Sorry, my cat's yelling in the background. Remember what I was saying about dogs? <laughs> well, my cat's yelling, so proves me wrong on what I was saying. So Jagaby? I don't know. I'm gonna have to open this up first to figure out what exactly it is so I can match it up on the key that I have here. Okay, I do like that they have a lot of like tear spots on here. Okay, so these are, yeah, okay. Wasabi Soy Jagabee is what it's called. Let me read these. Chloe, Psst, stop. <laughs> she likes attention. She's always looking for attention. The widely popular baked potato stick flavored with wasabi and soy sauce. I like the sound of that. So it should be nice and savory. I mean, it just looks like a like hand-cut French fry that you get in the United States. What does it smell like? Mm, I can smell the soy coming off it. I can't really smell wasabi. It smells a little bit salty. Very crunchy. Okay. I get the wasabi immediately. It's coated in wasabi, so you get the heat almost immediately along with, like, a nice soy sauce, like a tangy soy sauce, and then a, um, 
and then a saltiness. And then you start tasting the potato as more of like a lingering flavor on there. It is good. I mean, based off what it is, it's like a French, a cold French fry, but crispy still with wasabi coating and soy sauce and a little bit of salt. Does that sound good? I think it sounds good. It's nice. Yeah, that's good. It has like a potato chip after flavor. That wasabi, when it hits, it hits immediately and then it kind of like dissipates a little bit quick and then goes to the soy sauce and the saltiness. It's really good. I was kind of like, mm, about that when I saw it, but that's really tasty. Mm, I like that. That's, that's surprising. Mm. Okay, moving on. What do we have here? Let me see. I'm going to move some of the stuff that I've already tried. There's not a whole lot of extras in here. Oh, that is an extra. Anyway, um, so this next thing is another... I think this is a Yuzu Awasa cookie. I'll show it to you first and then I'll verify. You can see the Yuzu picture on there. It's like just like folded up. I like this kind of paper ordeal. Yeah, it's like in a little pouch. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Okay. So yeah, that's what this is. So, a simple cookie from a small shop in Kyoto. A delicate butter cookie sandwich filled with locally made white bean, honey, and yuzu citrus. It's slightly sweet, a little bit tart, and buttery all in one bite. These cookies are a regional specialty and only found in Kyoto. As you can see, it's pretty soft. Like, it's... The, the cookie portions are very thin, but it's very soft. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's soft. Hmm. Yeah. I get a lot of the yuzu flavor. Kind of like a touch of lemon, but a lot of orange to it. Hmm. Ooh. It is a little bit tough type jelly, where the one, the, like, bun thing that I had, had a jelly that's much softer. This is a little bit tougher, like more jelly-like. You can kind of see in there. It takes a little extra chewing, but yeah. It's definitely really buttery. It's not crazy sugary. And really nice citrusy yuzu flavor. I like that. There's a slight vanilla in there too, which, not complaining. I enjoy that flavor. That's good. That is good. So far... I haven't had any that I dislike yet. The wafer is probably the least favorite of mine, but it's all good thus far. I'm pretty surprised. I'm pretty happy. Because like I said, going in this, I was like, wasabi and yuzu? I was like, yuzu, easy. I'll like it. Wasabi? I don't know. Okay. Whew. All right, so, did that. Ha-ha. All right, here we go. This would be some senbai. People who have watched enough of my unboxing of this know that I am a Senbai fan. So, Senbai right here. This is the peppery rice cracker made with yuzu, salt, and black pepper from Oita Prefecture. It's a yuzu koshio Senbai is what it's called. All right, let's, it's very thin. Very, very thin. So it's going to be really brittle. So most likely it means crumbs. Plenty of crumbs, so I'm going to have to hold my hand below it. Now you can see it's like very thin. Very, very thin. Okay. I smell like seaweed. I taste seaweed. I taste seaweedy. It's very thin. It's just like eating... A super thin rice cake like that's the texture that's the crunch and it has a little bit of a flavor like that I taste a lot of seaweed to be honest it's supposed to be yuzu I don't taste any yuzu it's just like salty and seaweed it is also possible that because I've been eating a few things that have a lot of yuzu flavor to it that my tongue will only perceive a large amount of yuzu flavor like that's actually a thing like when you've had a bunch of a flavor if you have something that's a little more subtle with that flavor it's harder to pick up so that could be what's going on but that seaweed like that oceanic quality in that is very very strong it comes off as fishy 
So I'm not huge on that one. That's actually the first one I'm like, nah, not a big fan. But a lot of the other ones, really good. So good track record. Next. Put that aside. Okay, something kind of similar, actually. Um, I don't like dropping things into the couch cushion. All right, so this looks similar, right? And I think it kind of will be, although I think this one might be wasabi. But I will, it looks similar, it's just a little fatter than the other one. Uh, this, yes. Okay, so this is a wasabi senbai. Dio is one of the largest wasabi farms in Japan, producing over 400,000 wasabi plants a year. The farm was founded in 1915 and has been making these wasabi rice crackers since the very beginning. Next time you're in Japan, visit their farm and try the famous wasabi ice cream. Oh, I would try wasabi ice cream. Not sure I'd be huge on it because, I don't know, I just don't see how, like, something like that goes with ice cream. But I would try it. I'm adventurous, obviously. Okay, so, eh, pretty thick. It's like a much thicker rice cake. I think I, I smell a slight, slight wasabi. A uh, little bit of soy sauce on there. Whoa. Mm. Wow. Okay. The wasabi really kicks you in the mouth. Um, ugh, where I bit down, like my lips came down around it. And it burned my lips a little bit. Like that's how strong the wasabi powder is on the outside. Uh, it's wasabi, it's salty, it's soy sauce, very crunchy, um, rice cakey. There's a significant wasabi kick though. Kind of like goes into your sinuses a little bit. Doesn't quite clear them out, but kind of refreshes your, uh, your nostrils a little bit. Um, that's strong. It really, really kicks you in the taste buds. Um, for people who are big on wasabi, this is a good one. I'd recommend this. Um, for me, I'm not going to want to have a lot of it because like, I like wasabi flavor, but it has to be in the right setting. You know, like usually with sushi with something that's like super heavy and has a lot of other flavors to combat it. This doesn't really have a ton of flavors to combat with the wasabi, but it was a mistake. It's like pure, pure like wasabi covering oh man that's raw it's not bad though it all just comes down to what is your comfort level with wasabi how much wasabi can you withstand at one time and that'll dictate whether you're good with that or not so just keep that in mind okay so the next thing is i think the rest of the stuff is you know, oh there is a, another user thing but a lot of it's wasabi related so this one, I'm guessing I'm not going to really like, because I don't really like stuff like this typically. Now, this is wasabi seaweed. So I'm really hit or miss with, like, seaweed snacks. I've had some good ones before, but I've had some that I'm just not really big on. Um, depends on how, like, oceanic it tastes, like how fishy is it. So we'll see. Dried wasabi bits and seaweed salt are sandwiched between sheets of nori seaweed from the Arake Sea and then carefully roasted for a deliciously healthy snack. Yeah, I'm sure it's healthy, it's, you know, basically veggies. It looks like this is resealable too. Aha, it is. That's smart, I like packaging like that. You can see it's resealable, it's got the like Ziploc thing in there. I know it's not actually Ziploc, cause that's brand name, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so literally piece of seaweed. There you go, just a piece of seaweed. Smells like seaweed. It doesn't smell crazy fishy. Very vegetal, though. I don't smell wasabi. I do taste the wasabi. Oh. Um, so it starts off a little bit fishy. And then you start tasting the wasabi. And then you get a, a good saltiness on there. And I feel like the wasabi helps in masking the fishiness of the seaweed. Which is good. Let me try another one. Yeah. It's like, immediately, I'm tasting the seaweed. I'm starting to get a bit of a fishiness that's building up on my tongue. And then the wasabi steps in real quick and kind of just like st stomps it down. And it's just like, here's the wasabi flavor and here's the saltiness. That's good. 
I like the way this is playing out on my tongue. That's better than I expected. I'm down with it. All right. That's good. I have two more things? Yeah, two. Mm. One yuzu, one wasabi left. I'm going to save the yuzu one for last because it's a hard candy. So this is the one I, I'm most, I was most afraid of in the box. I was like, I don't, I don't know how this is going to be. It's a wasabi Kit Kat. Now, I know these things are kind of like all the rage because it's like, it's such a novelty thing because we have Kit Kats in the United States. And people are always like, oh, there are all these crazy flavors in Japan of these Kit Kats, which is true. And I've had some other ones before. But the wasabi always just sounded to me like, I just don't see how that could be any good. It legit is green. Okay, so I'm just going to mm, break it. No, oh, yep, cause a mess. That is how I do it. So it's green, but it's like a very light green. It's just like a light mint color. It smells like white chocolate. I don't smell wasabi. I smell white chocolate. It tastes like white chocolate. No? Oh. Okay. So I don't really taste wasabi in this. There is a little bit of a lingering heat from the wasabi on the end. So I guess I get it just a little bit, but it mainly just tastes like vanilla-y white chocolate. That's pretty much all it tastes like. It actually tastes good. But for what they're going for, like here's wasabi Kit Kat. You could feed that to someone blindfolded and be like, what is that? They wouldn't pick out the wasabi really. They used to be like, oh, there's kind of an interesting slight heat at the end. Wouldn't get it. Definitely get the white chocolate. Yeah. Actually, you know what? After that second bite, after I kind of let, after, you know, I chewed up that second bite and there was a little residual white chocolate in there, I did slightly start to taste some wasabi that kind of coated my mouth. It's very, very slight though. Um, people can handle that. So honestly, I think it's good in this instance because more wasabi with this could just end up being very off-putting and just totally not work. So the fact that it's a very low level, people can still eat this. So it's kind of good. Uh, and then I guess the last thing is this. It's a yuzu candy. Check it out. There's nothing special on it. It's just, I mean, it looks like a little like lemon sugar thing. Uh, a candy made in small batches by Shop D by shop deep oh, sounds weird a candy made in small batches by shop deep in the mountain of hyogo japan it's made with yuzu from a local co-op farm and water from the nearby mountain springs that's cool i'm gonna drink some water oh plus i didn't read you the thing about the wasabi kit kat let me do this then i'll read the, the little bit about the wasabi kit kat <clears throat> i assume it's not gonna be anything too crazy so there you go. A closer look. Just like a yellow candy. Yeah. Mmm. It tastes like yuzu. So, actually, up until this box, I wasn't super familiar with the flavor of yuzu. I knew it was a citrusy thing. I'd had it in a few things before, but not to a point where it was really showcased so you could really taste the complexity of the actual yuzu itself. Now that I'm having it, it's a really nice, vibrant citrus flavor. Like I was saying, like it's a little touch of lemon and a lot of orange to it, um, kind of like mixed together. It's a really nice flavor. I like yuzu quite a bit. I think it's good. It's just like sugary yuzu. Pretty much it. Um, I'll read you the thing about the wasabi Kit Kat now. The infamous wasabi Kit Kat, made in collaboration with the famous wasabi shop, Tamaru Tamaruya... Honten in Shizuka, Japan, uh, which is the capital of wasabi, apparently. Tamaruya uh, first opened in 1889 as a small pickle stand in a train station, but quickly grew after the store started to sell wasabi products. Now they are one of the largest wasabi shops in the country. Kind of interesting information there. Yep, and that's all the stuff. Um, I'm going to take this out of my mouth right now. 
and finish it later so I can feel like I can properly talk. Because when I'm trying to talk and there's like extra saliva being created in my mouth, it does not go well. Okay, so in summation, what are some of my favorite things? All the yuzu stuff I'm, I was quite happy with. That yuzu cake, to jog your memory, this yuzu cake right here, really good. Really good. That The yuzu jelly in there is just magical. I love, love, love that. Surprised with the wasabi Kit Kat, what a low level it is, but you can still taste it a little bit. Um, it's smart. Uh, that, um, yeah, the nori was, wasabi um, little cracker, uh, sen, mini senbai type things, those are really good, as are the wasabi soy jagami, those things, the potato sticks. Those are really good. I'm going to enjoy eating those. Surprised with the wasabi seaweed. Um, yeah, and the yuzu, the hard yuzu candy. These are, this is good, man. What am I going to enjoy eating the most? Finishing the yuzu cake, for sure. That yuzu cake is awesome. And eating those potato sticks. Those potato sticks are really, 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 really tasty. And then these things. These. The little wasabi things those are my top three i'd say that i just named right there those would be my top three that's awesome um so i think i was most worried about this snacku and i think this is one of the better snackus that i've had so i'm very happy with it snacku shigeki at snacku doing a great job curating these very very good stuff i'm, I'm excited to uh continue to eat this and i'm also excited to share this with my wife because I always make her taste stuff after I've opened the box. And she's always like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Um, but there's definitely some stuff I think she's going to find really good and some stuff she's going to be like, mm, I don't know if that's my thing. But that's what the fun is, just trying new things and seeing how you feel. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. If you could help me out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button up there. If you want to know whenever I'm doing uh, dropping more videos, you can just hit the notification bell. It'll let you know. Put some comments down there. You want to talk about what wasabi stuff do you like? What level of wasabi do you like? Have you had yuzu? Do you like yuzu? Um, do you want to try snacks from Japan? You know, stuff like that. Whatever you feel like talking about. Give me a like would be nice. And that doesn't matter that much. But do that subscribe. It takes you literally like a second. And it can mean a lot for me long term. If I end up getting enough followers, I can monetize stuff a little bit. I'll put all that money just back into doing more unboxings. I'll do geeky unboxings, but I'll probably do more snack type things too. So if that's something you want to see, do the subscribe. Get other people to subscribe, and I appreciate that. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. Go try some other cool snacks, uh, whatever you guys love. And until next time, keep it brutal.